Hi guys, welcome back. Lately, I've been trying to feed a little bit less into the overconsumption trend and really think about what the, the products I'm using specifically with like beauty and skincare and try to use up everything I bought, like no wasting money and it's been going well like i've been using up stuff so quick really helping me to identify the actual products that i that i love and enjoy and want to repurchase in the future so i thought i would share just my first little batch of empties with you guys let me get all these out so we have a few things nothing crazy but we have a good amount so there's, there's a lot <laughs> um so let's just get started I guess I will start with my not my one like non-beauty item. It's got skincare all over it now because it, I had all of this sitting on top of it. But I used up a planner and that is something that I've like just really my hair is like stuck to it. Gross. That is something I've really struggled with in the past is I will use a planner, get bored of it halfway through and then not use it and then just go on and off and on and off and then I just never have a complete planner. I like the format but at the end of using this it kind of just got a little bit too much for me so I have since purchased the Papier one which I will show in a what's in my bag video but Anyways, enough ranting about this. I used up a planner. I'm very proud of myself. Next is a body scrub. I pretty much go through a body scrub like once a month. I did switch to um, like one of those um, African net sponges, I believe. That is a way to exfoliate my body without actually buying and buying and buying a scrub. So it kind of saves money. But this one is the Soap and Glory Flake Away. It smells delicious. It's supposed to be like a grapefruit scent. I don't know what I'm getting from it, but... I'm liking it, like finer, not as grainy type of scrub, which I like, but if I wanted to repurchase a scrub, I might get this one. It is good. Next on my list of things is this Dove conditioner. I, for a while, was using like really expensive shampoo and conditioner, and I decided, okay, let's just try Dove because I saw, if you guys know, London and Olivia on TikTok. The, um, Olivia has like the best hair in the world, and she said she uses this, so I... I started using it. I I don't know. I feel like my hair has been looking dull recently, so I don't know if it's related to this. But I've since switched to Subaki. I think that's how you say it. And it's been making my hair feel a lot shinier. So yeah, this was a good try and it's very affordable. So I may or may not get this again. It's not bad, but I am really loving the Subaki hair care line right now, so I might stick with that. I'm going along with hair, also this Saltair Santal Bloom Dry Shampoo. This is very drying for a dry shampoo. It works well, but it's like incredibly drying. And also, I'm trying to not use dry shampoo unless it's an emergency. And um, at that point, I'll just wash my hair. But if I have to, have to use it, I started using the Crown Affair like powdered one instead of these sprays. These sprays are like only if I have an emergency and I need to use it. But the powder is just, um, I think, like less cancerous. Uh, so I've been trying to use like less of them. My mom is also like very into health and she's like, please stop using dry shampoo. It's so bad for you. So I'm listening to my mom. I'm trying to stop, but it, it, it was... It was a prominent part of my hair care routine for a while, so yeah, this one smells delicious though, I will say that. Uh, okay, next on the hair care list, the Olaplex Bonding Oil. I, I think this is fine, but I also just feel like hair oil, you can get drugstore hair oil and it also works great, but if you were going to splurge, I would say get the Kerastase one. I don't like this one, like too, it's fine, but the Kerastase one is like way better, and this is... Um, it's a very light oil though, so if you have fine, thinner hair, this would be a good oil, but I feel like I just want something a little more dense, so I like the Kerastase one. As far as like actually being moisturizing and super hydrating, I wasn't a huge fan. As I try more hair oils, I'm like, okay, you know what, it's not like the best. Skincare, I've used up like three more things. Um, I tried the Sunday Riley sunscreen like little packet, I just wanted to share. It's okay, it's not bad. Like I. I got like hair from my rug on it. Um, wouldn't probably buy the full size, but I'm glad I tried it out. Then I used up this niacinamide from Sunday Riley. I was super excited about this because the reviews are like, it's amazing. But 
I feel like the Ordinary Niacinamide does the same thing and it's way less expensive, so yeah. But it, it works just as well as that one, like they work the same, so just get the Ordinary one. But this was a good try. For under eye cream or um, brightening eye cream, I've been using the Caudalie Vino Perfect. I used this up. I didn't notice too much of a difference. Um, I did review this in one of my skincare videos. I just think like I have too intense of dark circles for that to work on me. Um, I think I would have to get like some kind of actual medical med spa treatment for my dark circles. I don't think like any skincare is gonna fix them. So yeah, but that was a good try. Elastin Skincare Tinted Mineral Sunscreen. My friend gave me her little, a little sample of it because that's what she uses. This is really nice stuff. The coverage is good. The color for my skin looks really good. Uh, this is in, I don't know if it has a shade to be honest, but it's kind of like a tanner color. So I would assume like a medium tone, really nice. As far as like sun protection, I don't know if it works that well, but the color and the, the consistency is amazing. And if I'm looking into tinted sunscreens, I'm going to look into that one or maybe the color science one or maybe the La Roche Posay one. So yeah, lots of options, but I do, I do really like that SPF. Makeup, this Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. I, I don't know how many bottles I've gone through. Like at least nine, this might be the tenth one. I've gone through a lot of bottles of this. It's really good. It's affordable. It's not talked about too much. Whoops. Um, but it's really good. I think, like I recommend it to everyone. My friends that have tried it love it and they repurchase it too. I'm just using up a lot of setting sprays right now that aren't my favorites. So I have to get through those before I go back and repurchase another one of those. Last two things, I swear. These facial wax strips, I literally go through like maybe once, one every two months or something. I use these for my brows, my upper lip, um, everything. I love those and they're very gentle, but they actually remove hair, but um, they're just good, they're good. Um, then last, last thing, this Soak, Souk, I don't know, fortifying oil. I got these in a pack of, I don't know how many on Amazon, like maybe five or something and it's fine. It's a very light oil. It's the black seed, rose hip, and castor oil. Um, pretty good. I just have to like cap my face off with some kind of oil at the end of the night every night, and it helps me wake up with really hydrated skin. So it's good. I I feel like neutral about it. Like I don't notice it being any better than any other oil. So yeah, that's good. Those are all of my empties for the past month, couple months, um, my first little batch. I'm going to continue using up all my makeup, all my skincare, just trying to make sure I use everything and I'm not being wasteful. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Have a lovely day. Bye guys.